What is full self-driving in Europe look like late 2024? As you perhaps know, the full self-driving features that is available in the United States is not working the same in Europe due to EU regulations. The features that comes with a car when you pay for a full self-driving subscription it's some kind of uh, driving assist. But there is some new things that have came to the car lately. Uh, since we are now monitored by the camera and uh, do not need to uh, move the steering wheel as much as before. That means that you do not need to nag the steering wheel all the time like you previously had to do. It's enough to hold your hand on it. But if the driver don't pay attention on the road and starts fiddling around with a map, for example, then the car starts warn the driver. It is this small camera that is used to see and check that the driver is paying attention through an AI algorithm. You can see and look how the view from the camera looks like by watching the car from the app. If you disengage the autopilot, you are not monitored by the car. And the car will not warn you in any way. And I believe that this sends some kind of wrong signals. That you need to pay attention 100% when you have the autopilot engaged. That makes the drive safer because there is so many things that is uh, preventing you to uh, come into an accident. But if you don't drive with autopilot, you can do whatever you like here without any warnings, without anything happening. And uh, <clears throat> then the traffic situation becomes much more dangerous than if you are driving with autopilot. So the legislators, with their eagerness to regulate how automation should be monitored by the driver, is not realizing that this is preventing the purpose of making driving safer through automation. People don't want to be disturbed by different beeps, warnings and threats that systems will be disengaged just because you are not paying 100% attention on the road in front of you. It's difficult to do that, especially on long distance drives, regardless if you drive with autopilot or manually. It becomes so faulty and broken when people stop use the security system just because of this. Maybe the solution should be then that uh, the car should monitor you and give warnings if you're not paying attention regardless if you're using autopilot or not. But hopefully this situation soon will be solved uh, when the EU, European Union, gets uh, their thoughts together and decides to allow this automation that will prove from the United States that it is safer and that cars can drive without any supervision in a safe manner. Because that is the goal by Tesla. And they are so close now in the United States, where drivers do not need to intervene at all while the car is driving by itself with a full self-driving feature in all kinds of traffic situations. Meanwhile, we have to wait here in Europe and uh, see what is happening to our laws regarding autonomous driving on European roads. Maybe Tesla could add some functions that could be useful when you are driving the car manually. One feature that I wish for is that the visualization should show the speed on other cars around my vehicle. Wouldn't that be possible through some clever calculation by the car? Here I added some graphic 
on the screen how it could look like. This information would be especially useful when driving on highways. One final observation, I did try out my hitch on my Model Y and rented a trailer since I was in need of transporting some bigger stuff. What I noticed was that when using the trailer mode, the autopilot is disengaged and I cannot use it. Also my Model Y perceives that I have another car just behind me. <laughs> That's funny. I hope that this uh, will be solved soon with an update so at least I can use the autopilot while driving with a trailer.